Hey, what's going on guys? Mookbird here. Just wanted to make a quick video on essentially profits that can be made inside of your hideout and escape from Tarkov. Um, so once we open it up, you can see this one is completely maxed out. Um, it took quite a bit of time just based on, you know, how long stuff takes to build. It takes like, I think 40, between 48 and 72 hours for like the full Bitcoin farm um, from level zero to three. And things like the generator and the solar power also take a while. Um, but once you get here, this is kind of what you can expect to receive in profits. Because um, at this point, there's nothing else left to upgrade. All you have to do is make sure that you have fuel. And from there, just getting supplies and letting it run. So what we can do is uh, start out over here at the workbench. And this is where a lot of profits are made. The majority of the hideout is made through here. Um, but I kind of have a, a small list of, you know, all the different ammo types and random things you can make. So starting it out, the warmage right here, surprisingly, is actually worth a decent amount. Uh, you can expect around 75k, 76k for running this, and it takes about two and a half hours. That's kind of the general consensus with most of them. You can see, like, these are 145, but the ones that you're actually going to make money are around uh, two and a half hours. So the BP is roughly about 36k. Uh, the 7N12 is about 56k. These circuit boards, you'll make about 12k. Probably not worth running it, um, even though it is 30 minutes. Uh, let's see here, 7N39. This one actually is the winner for right now, where we are in the wipe. You're going to make about 83k every 2 hours 37 minutes with this one. Um, I'll come back to this. Uh, not much money to be made, not much, you're going to lose money. This is actually surprising. Um, for the wires, you are going to make uh, about 54k. Uh, the 995 is another really good one, 79k. Can be made doing this one, this OFC and Eagle. Uh, moving down, this one actually can make you some money. This is 32k for running the Eagle. I think you lose money on this one. The M61, you make 81k, so that's second place here. Um, and moving on down, we can go to the RIP, I believe, is the next one. Yeah, so RIP will get you about 69k profit. And then at the very bottom, the SP6 can get you about 38k profit. Um, the notable one over here that I said I'd come back to, the car battery. So this one is, you'll lose money right now, because I think this is like, 250 kind of fluctuates between 230 and 260k but this is also like 22 25k you'll lose a little bit of money but there is a quest that requires five car batteries found in raid and anything created in your hideout is found in raid so that's a really good option just run it and you'll get that quest knocked out for right now 7 and 39 at this point in the wipe is going to be the the best one but check these prices um really every day because they fluctuate quite a bit. Uh, moving on to the uh, laboratory. laboratory. <laughs> uh, the only notable thing to do here is earlier in the wipe, getting this corrugated hose. That's definitely going to be something to look forward to in the next wipe. But for right now, everything else pretty much loses you money. Uh, we can move on to the intelligence center. It's going to be the exact same thing. Do this early on in the wipe um, specifically for these flash drives there's a quest from jaeger that you need to turn in three flash drives once again it's found in raid and that is a great option to do um, run that really quick but like right now flash drives are only around 55k so it's actually gonna you'll lose money doing that one just because the ssd i think is like 130k um just by itself so there's a stash uh Vin security scav case. I made a whole separate video on this, um, dealing specifically with the 70,000 rubles option. I can leave a card. I think that's how it works. I've never done it before, but I'll try and leave a card up here and you guys can check that video out. I'm doing currently doing folder with intelligence. I'm going to make a whole nother video on it, but this is for right now, as far as the 70 K option spoiler, it, barely made me money. It's just kind of nice to have um, for fine and rate items. Um, solar panel, solar, solar power 
is awesome. 50% less fuel consumption. It takes a while to upgrade. It costs a lot of money. And you have to be like level four trader with Peacekeeper. But in the end, you end up doubling the amount of fuel that you can have. Uh, looking back at the Bitcoin farm, this is something that is starting to make me back my money. I did this about 12, maybe 14 days ago. So I'm almost there with getting my full profits back. I think it takes about 29 days is what people say. That's if you don't miss. Like, um, Once it hits three, you have to collect them and it won't continue to create them. So if you don't miss collecting it and you just keep it running all the time and you have your fuel consumption for sure, you don't run out in your generator, um, it takes 29 days. That's pretty unrealistic in my opinion. Um, I think it's going to take closer to like 35, 40 for more casual players, maybe even 50. So, you know, for right now in the wipe, I think I did it a, a good amount of time where I'm going to start making money back. Every time I log on, though, essentially um, the following day, I'm making like close to 500k in those three bitcoins. Water collector. Water collector is an awesome one. This one only requires the water filter. These go currently for like around 50k, and it produces about two and a half, I think, two and a half to three um, purified waters. These go for about Anywhere from 105 to 120 kind of depends if you buy it in the morning versus at night. Um, but that's a great return on investment here. The other thing it's used for, though, is I just always put it straight into my booze generator, which produces moonshine. Um, it does require two packs of sugar. Uh, however, since I'm making my own purified water and I typically make at least one of the packs of sugar, um, which I make in the nutrition right here to Alianca choc chocolate bars. Uh, it ends up being, they're about 40K right now for sugar. However, you can make them for about 30 to 32K um, using those two chocolate bars. So about 64K plus, um, you know, technically like 20K for if you're breaking it down into how many it actually makes, uh, how many purified waters it actually makes. You know, about 80k to produce a 250k item. So I, then I just throw that one straight on the flea market. Air filtering unit. This thing is kind of like one of the soft skill boosters. Physical uh, percentage up by 40. I'm pretty sure is what it does. Uh, when you add in one of these FP100, you can make it in here, but it's not worth it. Um, FP100 filter absorbers. The med station. Looking at profits here again. Um, this is not worth it. This is not worth it. The only two that really are are the Saliwa and the IFAC. And it's really depending on which one you use. You're not making much money here. You're making like 3K and 4K. Um, but if you're going to be, you know, using one of those full time, I'd recommend doing the Saliwa. It actually, I'm pretty sure it heals more and it heals it faster whenever you have um, an injury out on the field. These other things don't make profit. However, it's worth noting the library is a great upgrade just because this is soft skill practical. 30% skills level boosting, and any experience you get, you're going to get plus 15. So that was kind of a basic overview of the hideout. Um, wanted to mostly focus on the profits. So again, the best things to do in the workbench, running the specific ammo, Warmage, uh, 7 and 39, M995, M61. Those are going to yield you the best profits. Uh, check, because they're such close um, numbers that, you know, maybe one's a little bit better one day than the next. But yeah, definitely worth it, especially just with all the soft skill boosting. Everything has their own um, little perks, like in the med station, um, health regeneration, nutrition, energy, health, hydration, all that. It all adds up and ends up making the game a little bit more fun. You don't have to, you know, spend more money on food and water after every raid, uh, healing up after every raid. It just helps it move along just a little bit faster. You end up spending less that way and overall having a better experience in my opinion. So yeah, that, that was kind of a, a rough overview. I tried to make it as quick as possible for um, hitting every option here that you can do with a maxed out hideout and kind of going over the profits. If you guys want to see something more specifically, um, 
like a specific video on you know boost generator or water collector let me know in the comment section below uh, but if this was good enough for you and you liked it if you made it this far in the video drop a like i'd appreciate it anyways uh thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next one peace